you know, because of your rig speed at night, it's hard to see them and know that they're causing damage. But you need to inspect your crops and your flowers frequently because this kind of thing can happen within one night or just two nights. They especially love ornamental flowers and basil. They love dahlias and they love zinnias. There are other critters that can cause damage that looks like this, notably slugs. However, the reason I know a slug didn't do this is I don't see a slime trail. So here's an example of earwigs that have been chewing on basil, even in a pot. They can climb up pots and get into this basil. And a lot of people don't know that earwigs also have wings so they can fly in and attack your plants. Now, if you can see them, but we'll try to get them out. Some people do call them a pincher bug because they can pinch you if they're being defensive. But <coughs> rid of them because there is no pesticide that is only going to kill earwigs. So knowing that that's not a very good option, the best thing to do is try to reduce their numbers and you can do that by setting earwig traps. Remember they come out mostly at night and they like places that are dark and damp. A trap can be this simple. You can take newspaper and roll it up and make it damp. And then I like to twist off one end that way when you pick this trap up and there are earwigs inside, they won't fall out the bottom. And you can just place this at the bottom of shrubs or at the bottom of a planter and then check them every morning and dispose of it. Um, you can be careful though in throwing this away because if you put it in a regular garbage cans, the earwigs are gonna come out at night and be in your house and you don't want them in your house. So you can put this in a plastic bag, you could smush it, lots of different options, or you could rehome your earwigs, put them in another part of the yard where they're not gonna bother your flowers. <coughs> another option is to set a trap like this using a tuna can or a cat food can. And some people have these complicated recipes of soy sauce and um, corn syrup and sugar. Um, and I tried one with soy sauce and oil and I set a trap, but I have to be honest, I haven't caught any earwigs, but we'll take a look at the trap in a moment to show you that I did catch some other bugs. This time I'm going to use a cat food can and I'm gonna leave a little bit of cat food inside of it. Um, just as a lure for the earwigs. But here's one of the components is you're gonna wanna add just a little bit of oil to the can. And once the earwigs get in, it just makes them a little bit more difficult to get out. So one tip if you're using this type of trap is to make sure that this trap is pretty close to ground level or at the level of the vegetation. You may even want to dig a small hole so you've got that lip of the can easy for the earwigs to get into.